You've probably heard about Australia's devastating wildfire season. It's no exaggeration that this is one of the worst fires ever. But one tech company is looking to make a difference by helping first responders get a bird's eye view of what they're up against. Our next guest is Adam Kaplan, CEO and co-founder of EdgyBees. They developed a cutting edge information stream for emergency services. Now, EdgyBees combines detailed mapping information with live drone footage to help firefighters put out the blaze. It's even been used during hurricanes and wildfires here in the States, but Australia might be its biggest test yet. Hey, welcome to the show, Adam, and thanks for coming on board. So tell us, how does Edgy Bees change the way that firefighters are doing their jobs there in Australia? So today in Australia, there are huge fires and a lot of manned aircraft that are unable to fly through the smoke and through the fires. So today they're using a lot of unmanned aircraft, in particular uh, drones and a number of other types of large balloons and, and, all, and all sorts of things like this. The issue that they have today is they have these live video streams, but they're unable to realize what they're looking at. So what we do is we take uh, live data and we overlay that information in real time over that video. So in a way, it's very similar to what we all grew up watching John Madden scribbling on top of uh, um, football games and understanding where that first and 10 yard line. So we're taking this data and we're putting augmented reality onto this live drone footage to understand where they're burning buildings, what streets that, are, that is, what's the number of the buildings. And they take that live data and that live video and they push that information back to command centers and to people on the ground to take that live stream and that live data and help them make immediate decisions that can help save people's lives and help save people's buildings. You know, that's really interesting, but what kind of information do the firefighters actually get? What kind of details do they get from your system? So whatever is um, what is called GIS data, so geographical geospatial data, we, what we can do is we can take this data and we place it in very precise locations on that live video. And this can be from to a less than a half a meter level. So, for example, if there is somebody trapped in a building, we can take that information and identify that someone is trapped in the building with that data and push it down. So this is the type of information that we're pushing on to. So I understand it was used here in the United States. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so the technology, the first time it was ever used was during Hurricane Irma, where we overlaid the street names on top of the flooded streets. Um, so what in before our technology came around, actually, they actually had people on the ground that were in scuba gear trying to identify what streets they were over. So we take this live data, we put it on top of these flooded streets, we took the live data as to where people were trapped in buildings or distress signals, and we put this on top of the live video and we're able to help the drone pilots and help the command centers and the people on the ground identify where all this information was on the live imagery. And it was actually um, documented that we were able to help save a number of lives in Southern Florida during Hurricane Irma. Technology has also been used by a number of police and fire departments across the country. Uh, and then most notably, it was used, the technology was used in Northern California during the fires up in Montecito, where they had large wildfires and we were able to use this on top of the, the drone feeds. So it's been used by a number of different uh, police and fire and also some of the National Guard to help people identify the information and the video all on these live streams to help people. Um, additionally, the technology is being used to help prevent the spread of wildfires. We're using artificial intelligence to identify uh, certain wildfires. And what we do is we geo-reference that data and understand where that fire is at a very precise location, push that um, information to a first responder, and that first responder can hopefully get to that fire before it spreads and turns into a large wildfire. So it's really fascinating technology, but I can totally see how it's used in emergency work, but are there other uses for your type of technology? So the most 
a fun application that we had was the technology was used during the PGA Championships where we took the shot tracer data where you see the golf balls in the back of a tee and we took the drone footage and were able to compare the golf shots and that was used during the PGA tournaments. Additionally, the technology is being used in the oil and gas industry to identify pipelines that are underground where you're not able to see that on the human eye of a video. And then it's also able to help um, our, um, um, our soldiers in the field to understand where they are in relation to video to make sure that they are out of harm's way. So the technology has a nut wherever you have live data and you have live video and information, we're fusing this together. So there's a multiple use cases uh, allowing you to take visual technology and allow people to understand what they're seeing on that live video by putting the data precisely on top of it. So tell me, how did EGB start? So actually, um, like many other startup companies, we started in a totally different uh, space. Uh, similar to Slack, we actually started as a gaming company. So the first ever product that we had was a augmented reality game on a consumer drone where consumers would be flying a real-time drone up in the air and we would augment objects up in the air. So similar, the game was similar to like flying through the Death Star in Star Wars where you'd be flying a real drone and shooting at augmented objects. Um, that being said, we decided that uh, the ability to take data and, and when the, the use came from a number of the public safety people came to us and said their issue is when they look at a down um, from a drone footage, they're not able to understand what they're looking at. So we pivoted the company from more of a direct to consumer company to help on the business and government side of things. Adam, we so appreciate having you here on the show with us today and the work that your company is doing for our brave responders is exceptional. And our hearts are with everyone in Australia affected by these fires. And thanks so much for coming on. Hey, thanks for watching. Now a few things. Don't forget to click the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more digital know-how, check out all these other great links.